Here's a little uh, tip for you guys. When you guys go and watch this movie, um, possibly bring a towel. Um, there's a lot of sweating in this movie. Um, not from yourself, but from certain characters. You just want to just wipe. Because, boy, somebody was sweating, man. Arguably so, but they were sweating. <laughs> oh. Hi guys, it's Stephen Geekface, the back again whenever you for yourself for today, which is for the film called Elvis. Literally, that's the title, just Elvis. Everybody knows who Elvis is, even if you did listen to his music, or you did, or you know about, you know, the dance moves. I mean, yeah, everyone knows who Elvis is. Me personally, I wasn't the biggest fan of Elvis, not because there's anything wrong with him, just it was just really past my time, you know. You know, some of the controversies about him as well, as well as the influence he had on the pop culture. So, new biopic done by a director who I do actually enjoy their work. Films like Rouleau Rouge, Romeo and Juliet, The Great Gatsby. So, trailer looked fine, looked really good. Tom Hanks, we'll talk about that in a moment, but yeah, this look interesting. How does this film do? Is it a generic biopic like we've seen before, or does this bring something new to the so-called king of rock and roll? Let's talk about it. Get a haircut, buttercup. In that moment, I watched that skinny boy transform into a superhero. Now I'm gonna go straight into the actual main character. Well, sort of the main character's movie. I don't guess I'll go into a bit more deals about that in a moment. But Austin Butler, who plays Elvis Presley, King of Rock and Roll, the main guy that we'll come to see. This performance is phenomenal. And it re he does a really good job because, yeah, when you look at him, you go, you don't look like Elvis. And I know that sometimes doesn't actually, you know, gonna make a character better when you're watching these biopics, but it's always nice when the actor where we you know looks or has familiar looks as the as the you know famous person they're portraying. And he doesn't look like him in this film. However, by the time you finish watching this movie, you're gonna even forget what Elvis looks like. You're gonna think that's my Elvis. Because <laughs> he's really, really good. He brings so much depth to the character. He's got the dance moves on point. The singing, like I heard that is actually Austin actually singing some of the parts and he has a really good voice. And he bought something that I haven't seen from other biopics about Elvis and that is the heart, you know, the human side of Elvis. Because, um, you know, most people have just seen him in documentaries or just seen him like in a concert, video footage, and that's it. And this brought another layer to him. And there was moments in the film that I felt, I felt so for him. I actually did, I felt so for him, you know, they, they portrayed him almost like a victim and I'll explain why he's portrayed in that way. But Austin Butler does a phenomenal job, as I said before. Um, definitely smell Oscars coming his way with this one, potentially. But yeah, really good performance from him. And yeah, enough said, definitely the highlight of the movie for me. Now, if you're a love of this director, Baz, um, of his filmmaking, you'll be very pleased with this as well, as he takes all the stuff you've seen from films like Moulin Rouge, Romeo and Juliet, and it is on steroids, this movie. This, the director is really showcasing his skills in this film, especially when it comes to the, the performance scenes and you know where it feels like it's a concert, and you know it's the great hits of Elvis really really shows in this film and i really enjoy those moments there where they're going into the singing and the performance or even just the cut between like you know he has to leave the stage there's a crowd full of screaming girls and it was great now we'll address the elephant in the room when it comes to elvis that has been a long debatable issue that people have been speaking about a certain controversial topic when it comes to elvis's influences from a certain demographic um the film does address it and it does actually try to you know give certain praises to particular artists certain figures 
uh, which was great to see. Whether it's completely true, I do not know, but they did a good job regarding that. However, there were moments where it felt a bit forced and they were overdoing it at times. There were scenes where, you know, a certain person died. The elves like, guys, we, we need, we need to take a break because we need to just focus what's going on. And and I don't know. <laughs> I was just like, really? Did that really happen? I don't know. But okay, cool. If that's the if that's the narrative you're trying to push out, we'll see. But I feel like some people might, you know, it might convince certain people. But like, you know what? Elvis is allowed to cook out. And then some people might roll their eyes and go, nope, I'm going to stick to the narrative that I have about Elvis. So great that they actually attempt to address it. Does it work all the time? Mm, it's the baby. Now, if you don't know the story about Elvis or don't know anything about Elvis at all, this is a great start. This is like my first book about Elvis. Great way to start it, Elvis, as the film does a really safe, clean cut about the story of Elvis. It's very just like one point to this point, to that point, to that point, and so on and so on. Like every typical biopic, just addresses certain scenes. And there was literally, there was one scene where he's like, I want to be a singer. And then literally the next scene, he's like in a big house. like, bro, how do we get here? Like, did I miss something? Did I blink too fast? Yeah, the film does have that type of pacing at times, um, which, I don't know, it's a biopic. There's only so much they can do. Even though this film is two hours plus, um, yeah, they, there, are, there are moments in Elvis' life which is pretty rushed by and not addressed at all. Um, and like I said, if you are if you are an Elvis fan, you will acknowledge those moments and go, hey, you missed that this bit and that bit and yo, when you went to that place and spoke to that person, where's that scene? Um, I am hearing there's a four hour cut coming out on Blu-ray and streaming. So maybe we'll see those scenes that people, you know, you know that feel like they missed out. But yeah, I thought the pacing was a bit off at times and it was a long film and I was like, we could wrap it up a little more, uh, which is weird because like I said, the film does feel rushed at times. But the only thing I felt was that was different from most biopics that we've seen was the fact of besides Elvis being the main character, there is another main character played by Tom Hanks, who is Elvis Presley's manager and is not the nicest person in the world at this point. At this point in the film, I really wanted to just strangle him. I was like, what are you doing to Elvis? Leave him alone. He just wants to sink. Don't take advantage of him. Those moments of that in this whole film. And for the most part, it did work. I did enjoy what they did with that and the whole dynamic. But if I'm being totally honest, first of all, it's not Tom Hanks' best performance. And I've seen films like Turning and Hooch. Yeah, it's not that great. It just really just, it really slows the movie down when he comes in. Um, because the moments where you're like, you're popping invested, you're following what Elvis is doing. He's about to do this certain scene, you know, he's about to get the guitar. And then you just hear Tom Hanks' character just start talking. You know? And there's just, and it cuts back to him in the present time. He's like, oh, I don't care about you, bro. We don't like you, you're the villain. Let's go back to Elvis and let's watch him sing and dance. Just, just go in, just go in. And I don't know if that was the whole point, but um, yeah, like I said, I appreciate that they tried to do something different, but I don't know if it worked all the time. Guys, this film, it's okay. It's all right. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just thought it was okay. Like I said, Austin Butler's performance is the thing that keeps this film together, keeps it intrigued for you to even check out and to watch and to see, you know, give you an insight into the man known as Elvis Presley. But is it a film to go rush out to go and see? I don't know, it's debatable. It really depends on how big a fan you are of Elvis. If you're not a fan of Elvis, then you can kind of wait till it comes out on you know online streaming service, Netflix, whatever, whatever your platform is and just watch it there. If you're a fan of Elvis, I feel like you will get something out of this movie. Like I said, the way it's been shot, very sterilized, very nice. The star was great, but yeah, it, it was just fine. It was a fine movie and um, yeah, yeah, can't wait to see who else they're going to do, you know, next biopic. I'm still waiting for that Mike Tyson and Michael Jackson biopics, man. It's going to be, those, those are the controversial ones. Come on now, give them to me, come on. But on that note, I'm going to give Elvis, yeah, 
if we just go to Elvis, a 7.5 out of 10. Great performance from, from everyone for the most part, especially Austin. Okay biopic, great premise of how they approached it, but yeah, it's a film you can just watch at home realistically. Um, oh, great soundtrack as well. Soundtrack's not bad as well. It makes me wanna go and check out some oldies from Elvis, um, but yeah. So, are you gonna watch this movie? Let me know in the comments down below. What other biopic are you waiting for? Um, you know, who else you wanna see on the big screen, the telling the story, and who would you like that person to play? That's another one we have to wait for. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. You know, are you gonna watch this movie? Have you seen it already? What did you think of the movie? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, thank you once again for watching my videos. More videos on the way. And on to then, guys, don't forget to like, share, stay blessed, stay geeked. Bye-bye.